Hey everyone, Schmuckles. Today is supposed to be my day off, but Dead by Daylight Japan actually just posted a teaser for the next chapter's killer, so I must post a video about it. We also got new leaks and information related to the potential leaks before, as well as analysis from some credible sources on these leaks. So we're going to go over all of this and kind of put together the bigger picture of what could potentially be coming in next week. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more analysis videos like this. I'm going live on Twitch tomorrow on Friday in the middle of the day doing an open lobby survivor tourney. The link to my Twitch is in the description below. Today, Dweet posted a long story has ominously been posted by Dead by Daylight on Instagram and on their Japanese Twitter account. This may be the first teaser to chapter 31. And that makes me wonder if someone accidentally pulled the trigger early on this because the teaser week is supposed to be next week because the chapter's in a week and a half. But nonetheless, this story was posted on the Dead by Daylight Instagram and their Japanese Twitter account. So here's the first story. I was on garbage duty. One of the boys usually offered to take care of it, but I was closing the diner alone with my friend Ashley. The cook had left an hour ago and this was one of the last tasks we needed to take care of before we could head home. I'm going to grab a smoke and ask Tyler to pick me up, Ashley said. I'll be back in a second to finish mopping. It's fine, I'll do it when I'm done with the garbage. It'll only take a minute. She smiled and walked out through the back door. I wasn't trying to be nice, I was just trying to leave as soon as possible. The diner was at the edge of the town surrounded by the forest. Ooh, this is interesting because this actually lines up with some of the potential leaks that we got a couple days ago, which I'll go over later in this video. I dreaded staying around after dark. I always felt eyes watching whenever I walked to my car. That sounds like that's describing a new forest killer right there. I slung my bags over my shoulders and headed toward the back door. The dumpster was behind the diner next to the picnic table where some of the staff sometimes took their break. And right here, I'm actually thinking that this is describing the new map and this picnic area is going to be an Easter egg on the new map maybe. I was surprised to see Ashley wasn't there, but sometimes she paced around the diner when she was wasn't on call. I tossed the sticky garbage bags and wiped my hands with disgust. I hated garbage duty. So actually it appears that Ashley here is missing. Maybe Ashley is going to be the new survivor. I was about to head back inside when I noticed something glowing at my feet, Ashley's phone. I looked around nervously. Ashley wasn't known for pranks. I picked it up and took my own phone back from my pocket. I wasn't sure what to do or who to call. I didn't have to. A voice called out from the darkness, Ashley's voice. Ashley, this isn't funny. Ooh, is this going to be like some sort of shapeshifter killer that has transformed into Ashley? Maybe. I stepped out into the forest. I didn't know how she managed to navigate the trail in the dark. I had to turn on the flashlight to be able to see two feet in front of me. I let her voice guide me, but I still couldn't make out what she was saying. She sounded distant, distorted. I want to go home, I insisted. Please, can we get back to the diner now? She either didn't hear me or pretended not to. I could tell I was close when I caught a glimpse of blonde hair in the distance. Hello, Tyler, she said, her voice hoarse and strained. Is Tyler with you, I asked, pointing the light ahead. I could see two figures, one of them shorter, leaned against the trunk of a tree while the other was taller and stood a little to the side. The first one must have been Ashley, but the second one looked wrong, twisted. Their torso and legs seemed to be facing different directions as if they could have walked toward me without ever taking their eyes off Ashley. Hello, Tyler, she said again, but I could now see that her lips never moved. Something didn't feel right. It's me, she started. Can you pick me up? She tried, hesitant. Tyler, it's me. Hello? I caught a glimpse of something in the light. It looked like teeth, too many to count. Phone rang, not mine, but Ashley's. Tyler was calling. The tall figure shifted and then spoke. Its disembodied voice sounded almost exactly like my own. This reminds me of one of the mods on Lethal Company that can mirror your voice. Home, it said, please. I ran without looking back, branches tearing at my skin, slicing my arms and cheeks. I reached the diner and threw myself inside, locking the back door behind me. I waited for a thump, a crash against the door, but it never came. I stood there for a while, still clutching Ashley's phone and before gathering enough courage to sprint to my car. It's three in the morning and I don't know what to do. Tyler keeps calling Ashley's phone, but I don't know what I would tell him. I want to believe this is a cruel prank, but I can still hear it now floating softly through my window. A voice haunting and familiar so close to my own. Please, it begs, I want to go home. And Dweet also posted, from what it seems like a found footage-esque type of folklore creature may be coming. This story resonates with skinwalkers as traditionally known to Native American tribes. Skinwalkers may use a technique where they imitate a person's voice to lure you in. So we could be getting some sort of diner map on the edge of the town with the forest as part of this map. 
and people are thinking that maybe a skinwalker is going to be the next killer in Dead by Daylight. And of course, this would be some sort of original version of a skinwalker because this chapter seems to be original. And Dweet also made some comments on the potential leaks, which we actually got more information about that as well. Dweet said, as of right now, it seems like this person has been right or credible thus far in their reveals. What they had revealed is Chucky would join Dead by Daylight prior to his announcement, which is actually not correct, but we'll correct this later in the video. Dweet also said Alan and Saga Anderson would join Dead by Daylight very prior to their announcement. That is true. Chapter 31 will be three humanoid creatures similar to Legion in the sense that there will be multiple characters in one. Chapter 31 will also consist of two girls and one guy. This is seemingly credible and foremost because of Chucky and Alan Wake reveals, but now the post in the story we got today from a teaser from Behavior showcases that some sort of humanoid creatures inhabiting people. And just as they said, it's two girls and one guy in the story, Ashley currently inhabited, trying to lure Tyler and an unnamed girl to her. The first image is from November and the second image is from two days ago. And that is correct, actually. This is a post that we've been talking about for a long time, this one here on the left. And this post from Gumpy is actually from two days ago. Gumpy said, first AI picture is kind of accurate, two guys and one one girl for your information. And just for the record, this was the first AI picture that I posted here. So this person, Gumpy, is actually claiming that this picture looks like the new killers. Dweet said, and these things should be taken with a grain of salt, but everything has lined up so far. If chapter 31 turns out to be exactly this, expect Vecna, D&D, &D, and Castlevania chapters as well. It's also important to bring up that the Watchers were always a theory brought up by a separate account and not this particular person. As well as it's known for a fact from this person that chapter 31 is original. That can be an easy guess with the onslaught lot of licenses we've had but worthy to note. So when I posted my video the other day, we actually got more information from Gumpy and actually some of Gumpy's comments have been deleted but people from my Discord community have taken screenshots of everything Gumpy said so we have it all documented. We're going to go over all of it right now. Gumpy commented immediately on my most recent video and said, aggravating mud is not me, fake leaks and also I'm not Uzi. And I asked him, do you have an inside source or lucky guesses? And I took a screenshot of this. This has actually been deleted since then. He said, lucky guess with a winky face. So let's just take a second to point something out here. This person is not claiming to be Ozul in any way, shape, or form. And Ozul is the person who claims to have an inside source and seemingly revealed early that Alien and Chucky were coming into Dead by Daylight in the correct order. Gumpy is saying that they're not actually related to Ozul in any way. So this person, Gumpy, it's not a matter of them having said Alien, Chucky, Alan Wake, Saga Anderson, and now an original chapter. They actually did not get all of those things correct. This comment here, Chucky, Alan Wake, original killer similar to Legion, Vecna from D&D, not Stranger Things, Dracula from Castlevania, you didn't hear it from me. That comment comes from this video and this was actually after the Chucky reveal. So Gumpy posted this comment, including Chucky in the comment, after Chucky was already revealed as a killer. They also posted this after the Chucky reveal, but well before the Alan Wake reveal. When everyone said it was going to be Predator, I told them it was Chucky, they didn't believe me. Now I'm going to tell you guys it's Alan Wake, even if you guys won't believe me. And this was way before anything was ever leaked or revealed about Alan Wake as a survivor. A large percentage of the DVD community went into that mid-chapter expecting that survivor to be original. But then Gumpy made the call that it's going to be Alan Wake. Gumpy also said when everyone said it was going to be Predator, I told them it was Chucky, they didn't believe me. That was the reason that I thought Gumpy was Ozul, because that's exactly what Ozul did. But Gumpy has now said that they're not Ozul. So there might be another comment out there where Gumpy actually claimed it was going to be Chucky in one of the videos. It's kind of lost in the comment section of my videos right now. But as of right now, I have not seen any evidence of Gumpy calling out Chucky before that chapter release. Right here, Gumpy is claiming that they actually did so, but I haven't actually seen that comment myself. And I don't think anybody else has either. So the fact that as of right now, definitely Alien and Chucky we don't have any evidence for is not a part of Gumpy's reveals. Gumpy has revealed three things early. Alan Wake as the new survivor before we knew anything about that chapter, if it was original or licensed. Saga Anderson as a legendary skin. And an original chapter to follow. The original chapter to follow is actually not too difficult to guess. But I have to say the fact that Alien and Chucky are not a part of this person's reveals, to me makes it much more likely that they just got lucky with a guess because now this person has only revealed one low probability thing instead of three low probability things. They also did reveal new information as well. So this is actually stuff they deleted as well. So they said the first AI picture is kind of accurate. Two girls, one guy for your information. And someone asked them for my video two days ago, do you know any info on upcoming Survivor or map? Gumby said I could try and guess. Someone asked, if I asked if you know if there's another Stranger Things deal in the works, 
is that guess a yes? And they responded to the Stranger Things comment and said, I would have to guess no. I mean, they're using the word guess here a lot. I don't know if that means that they're actually just guessing everything that they're saying, but they clearly said here, the first AI picture is kind of accurate. Two girls, one guy. And Dweet seems to think that that lines up perfectly with the teaser that we just got. And to be honest, it seems like it kind of does. They also did confirm that I'll guess it's still Vecna from D&D. &D. So as of two days ago, Gumpy is still vouching for the D&D &D version of Vecna to come into Dead by Daylight. And the DVD icon artist Wheat Draws on Twitter today posted the idea of D&D &D Vecna is super cool, but I'm biased, but this design fucks so hard. It also lines up with a huge Vecna push in D&D &D product that's supposed to be coming out this year. And as of December 2nd, 2023, so far we only know a little bit about what the new Vecna Eve of Ruin is all about. During the 2023 D&D Direct event, lead rules designer Jeremy Crawford noted, Those of you who watch Stranger Things may know Vecna is an otherworldly monster, but this villain's true cosmic horror will be unleashed in 2024 with world hopping adventure that both celebrates D&D's 50 year anniversary and reveals even deeper plot twists for years to come. Vecna is just the beginning. D&D game designer architect Chris Perkins also added that Vecna's reign of terror is just one example of the interconnected storytelling that can be found in D&D. Every new product is a chance for runs to build on earlier work. So this Vecna Eve of the Ruin event related to the Dungeons and Dragons version of Vecna is going to be unveiled in 2024 as part of a 50 year anniversary of the game. Currently there is no official release date scheduled for the new D&D Vecna. We know that it will be sometime in 2024 and will likely be released on or after the publication of the new D&D 5th edition core rules. So if the new chapter 31 killer for Dead by Daylight, which is going to be revealed and released on February 20th, is three alien humanoid monsters, which directly comes from something that Gumpy said, that means Gumpy's leaks are pretty much irrefutable. And we could potentially expect a D&D Vecna chapter for the anniversary. And if everything turns out to be true, it'd probably line up with this Vecna Eve of the Ruin event. Oh, by the way, there was one other thing that Gumpy deleted from two days ago on my YouTube video. They responded to the person who asked about any new info about the upcoming survivor and map, and Gumpy said, hmm, I guess a town map and a gothic girl, I don't know. Which is actually pretty crazy. We actually don't know what is right around the corner, but we do know that this story takes place in a town. The Japanese Twitter account and Dead by Daylight Instagram story that just revealed a teaser for Chapter 31 explicitly said that this is a diner that's at the edge of the forest, and it did reference that this actually is a town. A lot of people are thinking that the new survivor is going to be female as well, based on the story. We'll talk more about the Watchers, if there's any information that kind of directs us toward the Watchers, but right now we're fully focused on this idea of a town map with a diner and a forest, and some sort of Skinwalker-esque killer that can actually make their voice sound like other people. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to be up to date with all of the new news and information. That does it for this video. Goodbye.